days everyone it's amanda here with your december 2018 room scope the big news this month is that your 2019 career and finance room, sco room scopes are now available over on my vimeo channel uh for 2019 it's a new channel the link is below so yeah if you're curious about what 2019 holds for you in general regarding money job career uh studies property investments any of that stuff and some other th other themes crept in as well which i'm sure we'll be getting more information on as we do further 2019 uh readings but definitely check that out if you are interested in that uh also while you're over there part two of your december reading your spiritual guidance is over there i'll be pulling and interpreting one card from the vintage wisdom oracle this month by victoria mosley they are two different links this is still your spiritual guidance is still going to be on the 2018 channel and then your career and finance room scope are on the 2019 channel, the new one. So definitely just make note of that. This month for your, your December room scope, I will be using in conjunction with our rooms by popular request. Once again, the Paulina Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. Um, yeah, last month in the, in the different room, uh, we were having some focusing issues. And so uh, somebody mentioned they couldn't see the, the artwork as well on these beautiful cards. And requested that I use them again so we will we are and let's get going hey there cancer let's jump into the room bag and get our rooms cast for you for December 2018 let's see what is going on for cancer Just straighten this a little bit here December 2018 for cancer what is going on which rooms want to talk to Cancer about December 2018? As always, keep in mind, Cancer, these are general readings, so I'm connecting with a lot of different Cancers. Some messages will be for you, some are going to be for the others that are watching. Um, you can always check out the video for your rising sign as well to get some clarification or further information. But if you would like something that's all about you and far more specific, about your personal circumstances, you would need to schedule a private session with me. I do those on Skype. My 30 minute sessions are $70. However, I do wanna let you know that I will be offering my one hour personal New Year's sessions on Skype. Those will be available December 3rd through the 20th. Uh, so the, they'll be on sale also for $120 December only. So um, it's two full readings. We'll do a, a spread. We'll look at the first half of the year answer some questions or get some clarification on that, and then move on to another full reading regarding the second half of the year, just for you. Uh, and then any, uh, if we have time, we can also get some, uh, some take some further questions on that. So uh, yeah, if you would like to book that, uh, I'll be booking those around the end of November. So if you wanna contact me the end of November, for the uh, special one hour personal new year sessions. I do recommend doing that in December. I do book up very quickly in January and February. So if you wanna beat the rush and get a discount to boot, let me know. Holiday gift certificates are available for the one hour sessions and also the, uh, the 30 minute sessions. So if you wanna give the gift of a reading with me to one of your loved ones for the holidays, just drop me an email. Oh, what's going on in general? I have a big, kind of confab of rooms over here. Let me see what's coming through here. Challenge or focus for the month. We've got the star in reverse. So, this is losing hope in a situation or someone, Cancer, or feeling like somebody has lost hope in you or lost faith in you. But yeah, we can lose faith in a lot of things. We can lose faith in, uh, you know, uh, a religion. We can lose faith in our country, in our government, in our job, in our uh, mate. Um, a dream that we have, you know, we can lose faith in ourselves. Um, I feel like for many of you though, this is a relationship. It seems like there's been an argument. Um, and it could be with somebody uh, from afar because we've got a lot of rooms that are meaning distance here. 
Uh, maybe it's an argument about going to see the family. I mean, we are in December here. It could be about the holidays. Um, or about uh, traveling with family or going to see a long distance love, or maybe they were supposed to come see you. There's some kind of um, disagreement, argument over that. And you could be like, oh, if this person really cared about me, then they would definitely come for the holidays or come to my family's house for the holidays. Or, uh, you know, uh, it seems very like travel distance centric for me. I think. There, what I'm feeling here though is somebody may be making a mountain out of a molehill. I'm not saying that you cancer. Could be. Again, many, many, many of you watching. For some of you, you could you could be the one really upset about this, you know, and, and maybe not being rational in the moment. But I mean, then again, maybe it's warranted. Maybe this person has uh, disappointed you a lot. They, you know, they always break their plans or they always, you know, renege on, on some promise or, um, back out of, of things or, or, or leave you hanging. Um, you know, I, I feel like somebody's saying, I knew this was going to happen. Or you just, I just knew you would do this. Uh, for others of you, it could be like maybe one of your kids can't come home or can't come for the holidays or, um, they always promise they're going to come and bring the grandkids or bring the family and they don't. And, and, uh, you know, but this year, maybe at some point you're thinking, oh, hey, it's really going to happen. And then it's like, oh, what was I thinking? I knew that they would back out the, at the last minute. So, um, I'm feeling like though, for many of you, this is an argument or disagreement with somebody at a distance, maybe regarding the, the travel plans. And, uh, I'll tell you why I think that in a minute when we get to the help that will be available. I do think this will be patched up before the end of the month. That's that's the feeling I'm getting cancer. Just Let's just throw that out there. Let's give a preview <laughs> to the end of the month. Uh, I, I think this is gonna be patched up before the end of the month or better. You know, it may not be picture perfect, but I do think it's gonna be uh, a better. Um, or it's gonna cause someone to make big shifts or changes in the way they're treating you or, or in the situation itself. Um, some of you, this could have just been like losing faith and hoping that a situation would advance or shift or change or that some, yeah, someone would be moving and then they keep putting it off and putting it off. So again, I'm feeling like I want to be with this person, but I don't know if they want to be with me because they keep like shifting the goalposts. They keep changing like when they're going to move here or when they're going to come see me. doesn't have to be a romantic thing. Again, it could be a family member or one of your kids or... Uh, someone who keeps like promising things and then not delivering and um, uh, you know your your challenge is that you've either lost faith in them or for some of you maybe your challenge is to not lose faith in something again it'll be different for all of you hopefully we'll get some clarity on what which way the majority of you this is this is falling in the present we do have the four of cups in reverse here's what it looks like in the upright so the present for some of you will be the energy whenever you're watching this video. For others of you, it'll be more end of November into early December-ish. Um, this is an offer you're excited about. So, I mean, because we've got cups here, I think this is somebody, we've got another cups card up at the, in the help uh, position. I, I really think this is more emotional. Uh, this is... This is a promise, an offer that you are excited about coming from somebody who seems motivated and determined to make this happen. And you're feeling like, oh, if they come here, this will change the whole circumstance for the better. Or, you know, maybe they'll finally come through. Or this person could change my life. Um, yeah, someone making a promise. And you know, if this is somebody that's made promises before and have let you down, again, because this intuition room was coming up as saying, yeah, they always promise things, but then they never deliver. Um, in the present, I don't know, even if that's happened, Cancer, it seems like this time they're, ma they're making this promise in a way that you feel like they're really going to deliver. Like they're really actually this time motivated, they mean it, they're going to do it. Um, and maybe you are the one cancer. I have to go back. It can always work both ways in these general readings. Maybe you're the one that keeps breaking promises 
and it may not be your intention, but the way things just keep working out, you keep making promises to someone. And in the present, this is saying that your every intention is that, yes, this is going to happen. I'm going to make this happen. I'm coming to see you or I'm going to visit or I'm going there for the holidays or, you know, I'm going to have everybody here for the holidays or something to do with travel or I'm going to change this or I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop making promises I can't deliver. If it's you, Cancer, I would recommend, like, if you if there's any inkling, although I don't think there will be, I think it'll be an unexpected reason why. You know, again, I don't think you're on purpose lying. I think you have a very intention of, of doing this or making this happen, but something just keeps popping up and getting in the way, and you may be starting to wonder, am I even supposed to do this? Maybe you're losing faith in like, you know, at first I thought this was the right move to make. I was supposed to move there or I was supposed to make this shift or change, but now I'm not so sure because things keep cropping up to prevent me from doing it. So are these challenges I'm just supposed to overcome or are these roadblocks being put there to say, hey, don't go that way. That's not the way you need to go. So that's, some of you may be trying to figure that out if you're the one kind of being accused of, you never keep your promises. But others of you, I think that it's more someone else promising things to you and never delivering for many of you. That's the majority I feel like is coming through here. So yeah, I think in the present, at least the beginning part of December here, you really think somebody's gonna finally keep their word. They're not gonna let anything get in the way. They're not gonna let anything stop them. And the help that's going to be available, we do have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. So even if someone says that they can't make it somewhere, they're not going to make it. You have a big argument because you're upset that they're breaking a promise to you again. Um, there's going to be a reunion that you don't want to have. You may be cutting them off, going into your, going into your shell, right? Going into your crab shell. Um, you know, I'm not going to talk to you. Freezing them out. You may be freezing them out, but they're they're like, no, I'm determined. I'm going to come see you. And then it's awkward. <laughs> but still, it's coming up as a help to you. This is saying, even if the reunion will be awkward, even if the makeup talk or working this out will be awkward, it's a help to you to do so. And especially if you're the one that broke the promise, I mean, if you can be there at, okay, let's say this is like the Christmas holiday and you can't be there, you promised you were gonna be there for Christmas or you promised you were gonna be there for Christmas Eve and Christmas. If you if it comes up and you can't do it, well, make sure you're there for New Year's or the day after or, or something. And um, yes, this may be awkward, but then at least, and you know, that's if this person is important to you, which I feel like it is because it seems like your motivation is there to make this happen. But maybe you work in a field that maybe you're a doctor or something, or you know, you're you're uh, you know, you're a police officer or something, and you you can't control when you're on call or when you have to be somewhere. Or maybe that's this person's situation. Maybe it is their job. It's just you know, they can be called uh, whenever, wherever. Um, I, I, I feel like the help that's, that's going to be your best course of action here is to not freeze someone out, Cancer. Or if you are frozen out, to still make the overture. Uh, try to make it up to them any way you can. Whatever day you can be there, be there. And that's going to lead to a new beginning. You'll have your goal achieved. It's protected. I do feel like this is an important relationship to you. So this is somebody that you really care about and I feel like they care about you they just there's an unreliability uh, but I feel like it's external with Hagalus like it's not their fault but or it's not your fault it's just the way things come down and and but you know when people are upset some things can get said and then it snowballs right okay at first it was just because you're letting me down with this and this is like the third or fourth time or maybe a hundredth time that you haven't been able to come somewhere you say you're going to be because you're drunk but now we've said these horrible things and, and you know, because we were upset and I've said hurtful things and you said hurtful things and now we've got that to contend with too. So that's going to make this even more awkward. But if, if you love this person, you care about this relationship, it's going to be worth the initial awkwardness. 
you'll get back to a good spot. And, um, you know, it, it does seem like though somebody is just going to have to accept. You know that saying, when you love someone, you love everything about them, even their flaws, even their the unreliability of their job um, could be part of this. But, you know, that'll be different for all of you. Some of you may be with somebody who just, you know, constantly puts you second or third or fourth, and that is not cool. Um, it's still coming up in your help to at least talk this out, you, you, you know, um, and try to work it out. What must be accepted? We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Here's what he looks like in the upright. So this could have associations with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, male or female in these general readings. Um, for some of you, this will be a, a man, for others, uh, a woman. This is somebody with a tendency to be a workaholic. It's extremes. They're either a workaholic or they're lazy. They're either, they're either um, so involved in their work and career that you're always going to be, you know, way down the line on the list of priorities. Or they are um, so lazy that, like, they promise things that they just, then they always have, they just don't feel like it. <laughs> so, I mean... Tear is here indicating, though, that for most of you, I feel like this is somebody who is all after the pursuit of money, career, status. So that very much takes up their a lot of their time, their energy, their focus. And they're not as focused on relationship. They're not as focused on personal things. And, um, you know, so, I mean, that could be part of the reason you came into their life, though, Cancer, is to wake them up to this. You know, wake them up to there are other things that are more important. Actually, spiritually, everything is more important than the pursuit of money. We are not our occupations. How many people are working in a job that really satisfies their passion or what they feel they were put on this earth to do? Not very many. Um, those who are, they're lucky ones. But this wouldn't be coming up in the reverse if that were the case, right? So this is somebody more, I, I think, focused on the uh, the superficial things, the superficial side of life. Yes, we all need money to function, but I mean, you know, when you're on your deathbed, things can't go with you. But if you've ruined all your relationships in the pursuit of money, it's going to be a very empty, empty, lonely, disappointing time. And that's where this person is headed. And, uh, I, you know, I feel like cancer, you may have been put into their life to, to wake them up to this. Now, those of you that have an earth sign rising, maybe, or are just this way because you have maybe other earth sign placements, um, it could be you. This person could have been sent to, to snap you out of this same kind of behavior. Um, so... Yeah, this feels very, very personal. Um, so this message, these messages definitely seem more specific to me this month. If you are uh, not in a relationship or not seeing this workaholic person, um, you know, or again, if it's not your kid or, or somebody who keeps putting you off because other things, everything else seems more important, this uh, definitely took your rising sign. Or I can always connect with you in a personal reading and we can see what's going on with you. Uh, instead of the, ma the majority or whoever needs these messages the most this month. The outcome, though, is judgment in reverse. So, um, a couple of different things immediately coming through with this. Let me just focus here for a minute. See how uh, this is coming through first. Well, it's being judgmental. That could be what somebody's saying to you. Specifically this person. You're being judgmental. Overly critical. Or let's not bring that up again. Resurrecting something from the past. This could also just be somebody saying, I'm not talking about the past stuff anymore. Well, let's move past this. All those times I disappointed you, let's not talk about that. I don't want to be held accountable for that. 
Or this could be saying, like with this reunion, if you talk it out, you get to a new beginning, you reconcile, don't be throwing this in that person's face a week later, right? Or, or don't be resurrecting the dead. Don't be resurrecting the past. Um, but yeah, this could be harsh judgment. So this could be some things that are said in the, in this argument or disagreement that then you can't take back or the other person can't take back. And that's what makes this so awkward. So, um, It could also be just feeling like someone is making poor decisions or poor choices. Um, they're not weighing their options or they're not living a balanced life. Judgment is all about weighing the options and coming to a decision. Um, you know, but this is, I just feel like this is repetition from the past. Like this is not the first time this has happened. So, I mean, if this is somebody that you haven't been dating very long cancer or haven't been seeing very long, uh, you know, I still feel like this has happened quite a bit. And again, it could be a long distance relationship. Um, but I mean, I do feel like some of you, this person deserves the harsh judgment. Um, others of you, maybe you can talk it out and it, there could be an element though of just accepting this. I think this person's going to promise that they're going to do better though, that they're going to like, they're never going to let this happen again. And that was their intention from the start. But then this, you know, the work calls or, or, um, their lazy energy kind of takes over and, uh, I feels kind of Taurus to me. He doesn't always feel Taurus, but I think some of you are dealing with a Taurus specifically <laughs> where it's like, oh, they go home and they're supposed to go out and meet you, but it's just like, oh, I don't want to go out. Well, what he should do then, he or she is call you to come over if you don't want to go out because you can be kind of a homebody to cancer. That's, that's the way that you and Taurus should be compatible. So I don't know. I feel like for most of you, this person should be given another chance with the Three of Cups in December, whoever it is, whether it's a romantic partner or uh, a family member, a friend. Um, they get one more shot, but you can let them know like, hey, if this doesn't change, this is the last, the last judgment. This is the last shot. I'm not gonna, you know, because it just irritates you. <laughs> I mean, it really does. It really does. It's not fair. That's what, that's another thing. This is not fair to me or my time. So that's what I see here. Cancer for December, very personal, very specific, uh, reading this time. Uh, again, if it doesn't apply to you, uh, check out your rising sign because, uh, that's probably where your messages then are coming through this month. If, if the cancer reading, uh, is your sun and it doesn't apply. Um, but I can always take a look in a private session. If you want to, uh, to do that, just drop me a line. Uh, I am going to shuffle though your, the vintage wisdom Oracle. I want to see what guidance, further wisdom and guidance we can get how this, how it'll tie it all in. Uh, that's over on my Vimeo channel. You'll find the link below. Don't forget your 2019 career and finance room scopes over there as well. That link is also below. If you want to check out more about the, uh, about your money and job and all that stuff, don't forget to uh, take a look at that. But thanks so much for watching Cancer. Happy holidays once again, and I'll see you back here next month.